Hi everyone, I am Dr. Pedirama Devi and I am an Ayurvedic physician. Today I would like to explain about uh, uh, PCOD. The polycystic ovarian disease is uh, nowadays seen in most of the uh, girls or women and uh, this seems to be more problematic in treating the uh, women in the younger age as well as the women in the uh, middle age. As such, we know that uh, PCOD is a little bit complicated and it is a multi-hormone dysfunction. So as far as PCOD is concerned, polycystic ovarian disease is, disease is concerned, uh, most of the women are uh, suffering with uh, irregular periods and uh, scanty periods or heavy periods. And the reason behind is a uh, lot of women are uh, stressed and uh, they, they are having like sedentary life and uh, the lifestyle uh, changes are more in uh, uh, women these days. Uh, basically, PCOD is uh, not only a, a, a problem, it is a multi-hormone problem. And uh, most of the women, uh, uh, they have uh, different symptoms like uh, uh, hair fall, uh, irregular periods, and uh, a kidney, and uh, they have pigmentation problem. And there are some women that are landing up into obesity, and uh, some uh, some have hirsutism, and all these are linked with uh, uh, different types of hormones in the ladies' uh, body uh, bodies, and as well as a uh, lot of women are unable to express their problems. Uh, basically, they take uh, it as a normal problem, but it is really a complicated problem. It is a long-term problem. As per the modern science, as per the endocrine, endocrinologist reports today, as per the scientific reports, it is said that it is an um, endocrine problem with uh, uh, birth itself. That is, uh, uh, it is a, a familial, like it is a, a genetic problem, it is said like. So, most of the women who are suffering with this problem has to be very careful. And uh, most of the women also are uh, uh, not able to change their lifestyles also. Maybe that is one of the reasons. And uh, the signs and symptoms, as I said earlier, uh, to certain extent they can modify with the lifestyle. Mostly it is today as a lifestyle problem. Uh, we can uh, consider it because uh, every 10 women, almost 2-3 uh, women are suffering with this problem. So coming to the um, treatment aspects, Ayurveda do have a uh, treatment. And um, for the part of the um, household uh, tips, we can uh, uh, take certain uh, tips as such because uh, most of the females uh, try for uh, adapting to natural methods. And out of that, like um, exercise is the best one because um, most of the time what happens is this ex exercise relieves the stress hormones. So with the exercise, most of the women can manage their weight. Because weight gain is one of the main symptoms. Apart from that, hyperinsulinemia is one of the major problem, major uh, thing which is uh, getting into the complexity of this PCOD. So, hyperinsulinemia should be first one which has to be taken care. For that, what the woman has to do is that uh, uh, she has to change her lifestyle with uh, changing the dietary habits. That is, uh, they should not take uh, more of carbohydrates. They have to switch into something with, uh, which are complex foods like uh, millets and uh, uh, like uh, taking um, like mixed, that is uh, carbohydrates means direct carbohydrates they should not take. Mm -hmm. They can take like pounded rice, rice and they can take millets. Uh, they can take mixed um, um, millets and uh, rice like thing, but not uh, directly plain rice like thing. That is what we are getting these days is a white race, what we call it. So this is one of the aspects and uh, maintaining the insulin is very important because the hormones are, uh, that is LH hormone is uh, um, raised and FSH is, uh, uh, the, is falling down. So there is a testosterone level increase and uh, uh, insulinemia, hyperinsulinemia is taking and growth hormone is also again disturbed there. So all these are complex. So naturally the women will be having different problems. So for that aspect they have to maintain the bodily appetites regulating food habits. 
so for that they have to control as i said previously the carbohydrates and all so apart from that they have to take uh, uh, vegetables and uh, raw vegetables and all like carrots sweet roots all this natural uh, foods which they which we get these days those foods if they are able to eat regularly uh, avoiding all these carbs and all they can uh, maintain the uh, food habits apart from that they should also stop taking uh, outside junk foods like ice cream cold drinks snacks and all and homemade food is the best food and avoid oils and all so oils also will increase the body fats and hormone levels so for that and regulating the menstrual cycle is the most important for this we have so many ayurvedic herbs which they can help in their uh, in their uh, getting the regularizing the periods and all so those are those are the some of the herbs like ashoka shatavari lodhra and sariba like thing those all should be taken with the doctor's guidance guidance apart from that again um, stress factors has to be maintained and uh, if there is any other problem like kini and all they can take doctor suggestion and um, maintaining the regular cycles maintaining the weight and uh, maintaining the stress levels uh, will help the controlling will help the will, will will help controlling the polycystic ovarian disease why because a lot of women are having this problem so um, uh, they they just look at it as a simple problem so most of the women uh, they don't even get for every 3 months also periods so that is not the right way uh, every woman has to get every month around 27 to 28 days at least about 25 to 28 days cycle they have to get a period but at least if we, if, if she is a pcod case at least 35 days cycle also is accepted but is nowadays it's not that case so um, it is coming to 9 months in a year so when a woman does not uh, have a periods for 9 months then we can consider it as a uh, not normal and uh, we have to go through the different uh, um, investigations like just like uh, um, ultrasound scans uh, if she is a married woman transvaginal scans and hormonal assay so with this they can maintain the uh, like regular cycles by by taking proper treatment uh, but uh, most of the women like they 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 just ignore it okay this is fine but it is not right the weight management and all they cannot do it so they have to take some help from any uh, nutritionist or some any ayurvedic doctor or any physician like thing so uh, basically pcod is not a normal problem it is a complex and complicated so every woman has to make it a point that she gets regular periods at least every 45 days for this pcod cases mostly women come around uh, uh, 24 to 25 years uh, and uh, after marriage also they they just hurry up for uh, infertility that is not the case but as long as a woman in a pcod case gets regular periods she may have a chance of uh, going for uh, uh, fertility like uh, she may have uh, uh, no botheration about uh, fertility but still like uh, Uh, it is a caution that like uh, pcod may land up into infertility so in all cases it is a uh, vicious circle and uh, women who are having pcod should uh, should have guidance should take proper doctor treatment and after treatment also follow up should be there and uh, and when the she is normal whenever she has uh, irregular periods again she has to meet a doctor and get the things done